We've been given a function that works out to be a quadratic function, so it's a parabola. We want to answer some questions about this, such as does it open up or down, find the vertex, find the x-intercepts, and the y-intercept. So the first thing I'm going to do to determine whether it opens up or down is I'm going to go ahead and multiply this out, put it in the general form. So I'm going to think first, outer, inner, last, or distributive property on this. So x times x makes x squared. Outer is going to make minus 8x inner plus 2x, and then finally our last 2 times negative 8 makes negative 16. From here we can go ahead and combine our like terms in the middle, and we're going to get x squared minus 6x minus 16. Alright, so to determine whether it opens up or down, what we want to do is look at the value for a. Now a is going to be the coefficient in front of that leading term. So in our case that's a positive 1. Because it's positive, this is going to open up. Next task is let's find the vertex. So remembering the vertex formula, h equals negative b over 2a is very handy in determining this. So we already said a was going to be 1, b is going to be negative 6. Those are all that's required for this formula for the x value from our vertex. Um, the other thing to remember, as you're trying to remember this formula, I always think about the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Well, if you get rid of the plus or minus and the square root part, what we're left with is kind of the easier part to remember, negative b over 2a. So what we're going to do is go ahead and substitute this in. So we have the negative of b, which is negative 6, over 2 times a, which is 1. This will reduce down a little bit. We can say the negative of negative 6 is positive 6 over 2 works out to be 3. So we now have the x value for our vertex. To get the y value for our vertex, what we'd like to do is simply take this x value and substitute it back into the original function. Now you can use the factored version that it started with, or you can utilize the expanded version, the general form that we came up with. I'm going to go with the original version. So we can say f of 3 is going to be 3 plus 2, and then 3 minus 8. We're going to add together, combine what's inside the uh, parentheses first. So we get 3 plus 2 makes 5, 3 minus 8 makes negative 5, and then finally we'll multiply these together and get negative 25 for the y value for our vertex. Now to determine whether this um, where the x-intercepts are on this, what we want to do is x-intercepts are always whenever the y value or f of x value equals 0. So I'm going to substitute 0 in for f of x. And I'm using the factored version at the beginning as well. So we can say 0 equals x plus 2 times x minus 8. And if we think about the zero product property, that says we have to have 0 on one side and the other side factored. Well, that's exactly where we're sitting from the very beginning here. So from there, we just need to set each factor equal to 0. Treat them like separate equations here, and then solve them down. So on the first one, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. On the other one, I'm going to add 8 to both sides. And those are our x-intercepts. Now sometimes we want to write these x-intercepts as though they're ordered pairs. So as ordered pairs, that would be an x value of negative 2 and a y value that we substituted in as 0. And then a second one at 8 for our x value, 0 for the y value is our two x-intercepts. Finally, let's find the y-intercept. To do so, y-intercepts always occur when x equals 0. So what I'm going to do is use the general form, the expanded version of this function, and I'm going to plug 0 in for our x value. So that's going to be 0 squared minus 6 times 0 minus 16. So 0 minus 0 minus 16 is going to work out to be negative 16. Or as an ordered pair, we can write that as an x value of 0 and a y value of negative 16. There it is as an ordered pair. All right, hope this helps out as you're working through understanding parabolas and identifying their vertex, x-intercepts, y-intercepts, and whether they open up or down. Good luck.